to the Blue and Gold Report. We turn our attention now to men's basketball, and we have Damon Starring, senior guard, with us today. Damon, thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's open up with Shocktoberfest, an awesome event. You have This will be your third year involved in Shocktoberfest. What should fans know about Shocktoberfest? Um, it's absolutely awesome. I mean, the brand sells out. It's, it's a great environment. Um, People are excited. We're excited. It's you know it's the first day we get to come out and officially practice. Um, it kind of just it sets the tone for the season for both men's and women's basketball. Fans, if you've never been to this event before, it begins 5:30 this Friday. There will be a bunch of um, groups dancing. There'll be some concerts out on Mesa Road. Food festival. There's a Halloween costume contest. Are you dressing up? I was not aware of the Halloween costume contest, well, but we. Uh, <laughs> we might have to make some arrangements for that. <laughs> there is a Halloween costume contest. Um, UCI dance crews will be performing. If you are new to our school, we have some fantastic dance crews that have performed on America's Best Dance Crew, Cabo Bayon being one of those, um, and live music. So it's a great event. Then the event moves into the Bren Center for Midnight Magic, where you will get a sneak preview of the men's and women's basketball team. Uh, we'll have the three-point contest, the men, that's a gender, men versus women contest. Men won last year, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> was it by a long shot? Uh, I think we beat them pretty bad. <laughs> I don't remember, I mean, I'm just going on a limb here, I'm not sure, but uh, I think we won by a significant amount. <laughs> and, I, and I think if I recall, you were you were in the three-point contest last year? I was in the three-point contest last year. Who did you compete against last year? Do you remember uh, who was on the women's side? I forgot, no, Jackie, Jacqueline Marshall was on there. Um, I want to say Lauren Spinazzi. Um, I can't remember. I think there may have been one or two others. I can't remember who that. But uh, oh, when we when there was a concert in the park, though, we uh, uh, Lauren Spinazzi was talking a little bit of mess, oh, saying they were, they were gonna they were gonna take the take the championship this year and take the win. So I like it, a revenge match. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> then we go on to the dunk contest, and you are involved in that this I year. I am involved in the dunk contest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we'll have the spirit squad out there. We'll have uh, more dance crews. Well, actually, the men's women basketball team will be performing with MCIA, um, doing a dance with MCIA. So you guys are doing that, that again. Out. We're doing that again. That MCIA not is on awesome. Itinerary. They're a great crew. Like we love hanging out with them. So they're awesome. Now you did this last year. We did do this last year. Yeah. I think it went off very well. I don't know if we can find it online. We'll have to see if it's on YouTube still. But there might be some. Um, there might be some clips of the men's and women's basketball team dancing last year. So if you missed it last year, you can go back and onto YouTube and search it. And you should be able to find it. And after Midnight Magic, there'll be a concert with Dom Kennedy, Kendrick Lamar, and Tyga. And the party doesn't end there because after that, we'll have Aftershock, which is a big dance party with student DJs. And that goes on until all hours of the morning. So if you've never been and you want to check out this event, as of last week, there were less than 400 tickets left, so you should go to asuci.edu, asuci.uci.edu, backslash Shocktoberfest, and pick up your tickets. Student tickets are $12, guest tickets are $35, and they are running out, so go get your tickets early, people. And that event, again, is this Friday, at, beginning at 5.30. Stamen, let's put our focus on Midnight Magic, the three-point contest. Who is the sharpshooter for the women? Um, so it comes down to, uh, I know what Kelly Meggs and Lauren Spinazzi are competing this year. So those two, they're both great shooters. I know there's a couple other girls that are new to the new to the squad this year that are competing. So I don't know much about them. So they might could potentially be sleepers. We'll see. But uh, I know Lauren and Kelly can shoot the ball pretty well. So um, those, as of now, those are our top competition. And um I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully they fold under pressure because uh, we'll say they kind of did last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they no, folded I'm just, under I'm pressure. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, no, we uh, we have a pretty good shooting team as well. So um, let me see. I'm not sure who's in our three-point contest. Was it uh, Flo, Travis, Mike Wilder? You know, I mean, you can, what are you can do with Mike Wilder. Come on now. <laughs> uh, Travis Souza. Travis Souza is a pretty deadly shooter as well. So we'll see. Um, the girls have their they, their work cut out for them this year. So, we'll see. Fans, the uh, participants on the women's side are Kelly Meggs, Vanessa Aguilar, Lauren Spinazzi, and Madison McKinney. Vanessa and Madison are new to the, te new to the team this year. Um, Kelly and Lauren being the veterans. Damon, who is the best shooter among the four on the men's team? I mean, uh, 
Me? No, I don't know about <laughs> me. I, Mike Wilder has the statistics to show that he's the best shooter. So, but he he's a clutch shooter too, which is pretty, which is great, especially on and off the court, in such positions as the battle of the sexes three point contest and stuff like that. So. Now, do you ever just you know have a contest between the women, you know, just kind of on the blacktop? Uh, at the dorms and at BBC and things like that? No, I mean, occasionally we'll just, we'll do like a half court shooting contest. Nothing too serious. Um, so this is kind of where it all unfolds is at Shocktoberfest. That's when we really get down and compete and see who's, who's, who's superior, I guess, if that's the correct word to say. That. So your so. pick is Mike Wilder to win it all? Well, Or at least the, to lead the men. Yeah. Well, again, I think it was last two years, not last year but the previous year it came down to the contestant who won at the yard oh that's so right fans there they, is a surprise contestant on a men's and women's player that they find at the arc i don't know how they find that person how do they find that i person? believe they do a, a shooting contest at the arc and it's open for anybody any uci students whatever and they i guess the best shooters they do the same form of competition um spot shots so many balls in each spot and then the person with the most amount of points goes on to the rounds. And then, um, so, but yeah, in the, not last year, but the year before that, we actually needed our, our um, what do you want to call them? Our surprise guest, if you want to say, yeah, our surprise guest uh, to knock down a couple of jumpers and, and take us in the in home stretch. But uh, Jade, Jade Smith actually got hot that night and just killed us. So... If you kind of want to know a little bit of history on Shocktoberfest, the women did beat us two years ago, and we redeemed ourselves last year. So this is kind of a, for me, this is kind of the tiebreaker for the men's and women's shoot-off. And this is your last, well, not for you personally, but, you know, this is your last year, so you want to go out on a winning note. Exactly, exactly. And so the event you'll participate in is the dunk contest. You're competing against Colin Woods, Mike Best, and Alex Young, possibly Will Davis. Right. Is that correct? Correct. Um, who's got the best hops? Well, Will Davis by far. I believe he did. He win last year. I think so. I think he won. So yeah. he's reigning champ. So we'll see if he decides to come out of retirement and uh, and uh, compete again. But right now, Alex Young. He's about five ten on a good day. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not sure how tall he is. But um, wait, if he is so, if he's listed on the roster at five ten, he's probably five eight. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> I'm right? kidding. No, I think he's about <laughs> six feet. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to take away any height from him. But uh, no, he's he. I don't know how athletic he is. I know he's athletic, mm -hmm. but I mean, he could be saving it for the dunk contest. So we'll see. We'll find out. Mike Best. He could potentially have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I think it'll come down to me and Colin. And now, have you have you um, seen any of their any of the other guys planning for their planning their dunks for this contest yet? We've talked about it. We've talked about some of the ideas we have and so forth. But I think if we are going to practice, we're going to kind of hide it from each other, just to to keep an edge. You know, what I mean, even though we are within the team, we're still competing against each other. So. Okay, you know, you don't have to get specific, but kind of what type of dunk are you planning? Uh, see, Without I don't, being specific. I, I don't know if I want to talk about that right now. Because I'm guessing when I see you, I'm going to come out and watch it. Because okay. um, some things are still in the works. Still thinking about some things. So we gotta, i got to get all the kinks out. In your dunk history, what's the what's the toughest dunk you've tried to do? Um, it would be between the legs. That's, and that's one I tried two years ago and actually missed it. But I have gotten it once before, so I thought I'd try it then. But uh, I might have to pull that one out again this year. So that could be another one I'm going for. But uh, hopefully might maybe get some fans involved, see what's going on with that, if we're allowed to and whatnot. So. Now, are any of these guys predictable? Like someone going to def – who's definitely going to do the windmill? Um, Mike Bess is pretty predictable. He has probably one or two dunks that he might do. Colin Woods – Colin's really athletic, really bouncy. So uh, – he, ha he has a few tricks up his sleeve, so we'll see. He could potentially just come out with an easy windmill just to get to the next round okay. and then leave somebody else stuck to get to the next round. So I don't, it's, it's going to be a good one. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so Alex is the newcomer, so we don't know what to expect right. from him. Right, Alex is our freshman. So Mike is the predictable one. Mike Best, you heard that? You better come up with something different <laughs> this year. And Colin and you, Damien, are probably the most creative. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we'll look for some variety from you two. 
I'm so, but it should be exciting either way. And if Will Davis gets in the mix, if Will comes in, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Will to win it all again, <laughs> just because you're conceding already. I'm not. Con I'm still gonna compete my hardest, but Will Davis is a freak of nature. He is just super athletic. I mean, he's fun to watch. If you guys didn't come out last year, he is. I mean, he's just. A, He's a great all-around player. He hustles, plays hard. He's a great shot blocker. I believe he set um, he set the UCI record last year for most shots blocked in either a game or first season. I'm not sure. I think it was a game, but uh, I think that's eight or nine. Mm -hmm. But um, again, he's just he's super athletic. He's everywhere in the court, rebounding, blocking shots. Um, he's our alley oop guy. He's getting out in transition, getting dunks, dunking on people. So I mean, he's he's really a lot of fun to watch. So if you guys didn't come out and check him out last year, definitely come do that this year. Um, and that's, I mean, just us in general, men's and women's basketball. We're, I know women's have a new coach this year, so it's, it's going to be exciting to see what, how they play and how they're going to be. Um, we didn't graduate anybody, so we're excited to, to get things started on Friday. Yeah, you are one of the youngest teams last year in the nation. That's right. Um, Will Davis is hard to miss, folks. He's tall, and he's athletic, and he's electrifying. And it should be a great show. i got to ask, though, what's with the Fresh Prince wardrobe that Will's been sporting? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but I'm not wrong, right? He, he's he's doing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Just, that's just Will style. You know what they say though. Every time, even though a style goes out, it always comes back in sooner or later. So maybe he's just trying to bring it back. But hey, Fresh well, Prince was a great show. You can't you can't. I can't even be mad at him for trying to rock that style. Well, we're just, well, we're just having some fun. He's probably gonna come stomp on me now. <laughs>